Okay. So lesson number one. This is a really difficult lesson for young entrepreneurs to get. An idea has no intrinsic value. Right? We all have ideas. I mean, I've given a lecture on that called How an Idea Becomes an Enterprise, Designing a Business. An idea has no intrinsic value. It needs to be supported and contextualized with all sorts of things. And here's a few of them. Right? It has to have a viable market context to reside in. Right? It has to be a market for your idea. It has to have a financial, marketing, manufacturing, and distribution infrastructure to support it. Those are sort of the key kind of cornerstones that are required to support an idea. So when I was your age, I was an avid outdoorsman. If I haven't said out or about yet, I grew up in Canada, and I came here as an athlete in the, uh, uh, many, many years ago. But I spent much of my youth in northern Ontario and in Quebec um, in the wilderness. I was an Outward Bounds instructor. I loved the outdoors. Um, and so I, I did then, and I do now spend as much time as possible there. So um, part, of the, part of that was uh, canoeing through the, the wilderness, and I had to carry my canoe. Some of you have done that. And in Canada, we call it portaging. Here you call it portaging. It's carrying a heavy canoe over an often rugged terrain. And if you've ever done it, it's hard to do for a couple of reasons. One is, if you're carrying the canoe on your shoulders, the center thwart puts pressure on your deltoid muscles and it becomes very painful. Right? So, I had, done a lot of, uh, I had done a lot of backpacking and I recognized the advantages of the aluminum frame backpack technology. So I took that idea and I applied it to my problem carrying the canoe. And then, I, so I made this prototype and it worked fantastically well. It, it improved the portaging process a thousandfold. So then I took my college tuition money and I got a patent on it. And I was so proud. How many of, how many of them do you think I sold? None. I made two. I, I had one. I gave one to my dad and that was that. Right? And I was trying to figure out how to get the money to pay my tuition. Um, so that was my first failure, right? But I learned a lot from it. Right? I learned how the patent process worked. More importantly, I learned that an idea has no value without these other things to support it. So even if I had had a market, the, the, the number of people that really needed this thing was very finite, right? And I, it certainly wasn't big enough to build a business on. And even if it were, I didn't have any financial resources to support that. So there's lesson number one, right? Be realistic about who your audience is for your idea and all these other sort of supporting things.